And now, the military press. The military press, I fucking don't like it personally, but the military press is an awesome fucking exercise. Since you are not using your, your body, you are sitting on a bench, you have a uh, back support, you are not using all these stabilizers on your core to maintain your posture, to keep your body uh, in a stable position. You don't, have, you don't need to fire your glutes to maintain the position. You don't need to be stable. You, the, the stabilization is provided for, from the bench. So strength gains on military press are really reduced by that because the best strength, strength gains that you can have will always come from exercises that force you to use your entire body as a fucking unit. And the military press will exacerbate the isolation of the shoulders and the shoulders and triceps to press the weight up because it provides you a lot of stabilization for, for, for your back, for everything below shoulders, <laughs> essentially. So we are going to give it a two for fucking strength. You will gain strength on the military press. And when I when I put a, a low a low score on any exercise uh, for strength, you need to understand that it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be getting stronger on the lift. It's just that the lift will not corroborate with your strength elsewhere so much. <laughs> okay. Um, so now comes the, the, the portion where the military press is fucking good, which is myofibular hypertrophy. I personally think it's better for myofibular hypertrophy than fucking uh, do standing overhead presses because the standing overhead presses, like I said, like crazy in the video about it, we always tend to hyperextend. We always, we always tend to grind that last rep and we transform the fucking lift into a fucking incline bench using our lumbar spine as the fucking, as the main point that we will be receiving fucking force. In a hyperextended position that makes your fucking discs like eat on each other. So... For myofibular hypertrophy, since the military press has that added, added, uh, had that added, had the added stabilization provided by the bench by sitting on a bench, then it's way superior. You can go for eight reps, you can go to twelve reps, you can even go further than that. So for myofibular hypertrophy on your shoulders and your triceps, this this move is uncanny, bro. It's uncanny. It's a full score. Let's give it to military press. Now, full score is an exaggeration. Full, co full score is fucking exaggerating. I only gave full score. I, I didn't give full score in, in, in my fibular hypertrophy, if I'm, if I'm correctly. No, no, I gave it to deadlifts. Deadlifts are fucking awesome. Um, let's go to sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. And here is where that added stabilization gets awesome fucking awesome because you can go on the military on the military press you can do drop sets you can go fucking crazy you can do forced reps you can do my reps you can do pause uh rest pauses because you you are not worried about injuring your fucking back your which is usually what will make you stop on other lifts so for sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is pretty gnarly I think it's the it's the same fucking score as the myofibular hypertrophy. This is a bodybuilding movement, and that's why we have fucking Ronnie Coleman doing it because Ronnie is the king of bodybuilding. Nobody ever look as alien as fucking Ronnie Coleman, bros. Ronnie was insane. Woo! Hell yeah! As for time, if, uh, time fucking efficiency. Listen. If you just go on the gym and do military press, that's the way you need to think about time efficiency. Would that be a nasty, a nasty workout? Would that be enough to stimulate your fucking body and hell yeah, I'm, I'm done for the day? Nah, bro, nah. Just military presses? What the fuck are you doing? It's not, it's not like a fucking squat and a deadlift that you can simply go to the gym and, okay, I'm going to just bench today. And you go there and go crazy with the bench press. Oh, today I'm going to just deadlift. Today I'm going to just squat. It's not that kind of movement. It's a big compound movement. It's a great movement. But no, 
and it is more directly directly towards bodybuilding it is more directly towards hypertrophy training and in hypertrophy training volume is king you need a lot of, you need to be ramping up volume using at least three to four exercises maybe six exercises on the on the on more extreme cases when you are you're building an accumulation phase phase and building your fucking vo volume to really have the maximum growth that you can so time efficiency is not where it, where it shines and listen you can make military press be super time efficient but your program will be suboptimal that's the the key thing any exercise can be extremely time efficient you can go in the gym in 15 minutes and finish things but then you're not doing as, as you're not programming your uh fuck you are not using a well-designed program there's other lifts that would be way better the, the overhead press for instance is way better for well, if you are going to just go to the gym and do only presses only overhead presses so boom military press time efficiency at three because i think you need at least some lateral raises to go alongside it or maybe train your legs tra train some other things so yeah a three for time efficiency now learning curve the learning curve here is absolutely Id idiotic it's it's sit on sit and press there's nothing you need to do nothing else you just sit there and fucking press and you're done so fuck the learning curve there's no learning curve it, it, you, no, you need to be really really dumb to screw this up this is fucking simple it could it could all it could only be more easier if you it, if it was a machine but the machine yeah there, there's there's no way this is the easiest fucking lift in the world bro so yeah that's it let me see how the fucking score went we a fucking 18 i didn't thought i, I think i'm being too generous i i think i love every fucking exercise and then i just i'm just too generous with every every single one of them well, let's see when it's when we get out of the fucking big four and their their variations when when we finally finish the variations of the big four i think the scores are going to start to go a little bit down you know